Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In this video, I will show you that how you will determine earthquake load for a building. And uh, in this video, I will complete that with BNBC 2017. And uh, already, if you study about that, then you know that the BNBC 2017 is almost uh, same as ASCE 2000 sorry ASCE 705 version and ASCE 7 to 10 version so uh, in this video uh, only I will use a excel sheet that I have prepared and I will use that uh, to calculate our earthquake load and after that I will apply it in ETAPS 2016 so that we can compare the value from BNBC and of uh, the value from ASCE to compare the both results so that we can use uh, that value in ETAPS and uh, you already know that ETAPS 2016 version have already closed UVC design code so for that it's very important to find out another way for BNBC code so I think this video will be helpful for you. So let's start. At first, I'll open my Excel file. Now at first I will open our um, excel file then from here you can find out your record value so you can also make a excel sheet like that and if you want that so I will discuss about that in my last time at my video so here suppose I have input i mean i have collected wall value here all of my value here and also that have every value that are required for our earthquake analysis so i mean for seismic analysis so from here the point in yellow color just you have to work here and everything will be automatically so suppose here is the length and width here is the length of the building I mean uh, base length and base width and here is the number of a story of your building and here is the seismic weight here double is the seismic weight so there are two ways to find out that value first of all from e -tabs, you have to find out that value only for 100% of dead load and 25% of live load we all know that for seismic analysis we use that mass source and also I'll discuss it in my next video and here height above base I mean uh, total building height from our base to top and here soil type you have to change soil type and here town um, I mean the seismic zone uh, then uh, the value of jet will be calculated automatically and also zone will calculate automatically and here we have to select occupancy category and then importance factor will be also calculated similarly and from here we have to select our structure type and from here we have to select also our seismic force resisting system and here we have to provide percentage of critical damping and uh, actually a uh, BNBC have suggested to provide damping 5% and from here also we have to select our structure type that uh, is its concrete moment resting frame is still moment resting frame and there have also two 
and that's that's it after that your earthquake load will be calculated now we will use a building whose length have 75 feet and whose width have 45 feet and number of S39 seismic wood W2200 sorry 200 PSF and height above base as it is 9th floor history I mean uh, 9th story then I uh, have considered 10 into 9 so 19 feet from base to top and from here we have to select our soil type here S A S B S C S D and S E. So to understand about that, we have to go here. So for soil type, you have to go the table six point six point two point one six point two point table number six point two point one and uh sorry there have C but it will be 2 so you have to go 6.2.1 for find out your seismic value so from here every value will find out here and uh, for detail you have to go the following table sorry following table so uh, from here we we'll select that SC loose soil and uh, we'll select X suppose you can select anyone uh, sorry anything from here and uh, I think you will find out that value from design code and from after uh, soil calculation I mean soil test and from here you have to select your town I have selected my town as Dhaka so from here you can select your town as you required so suppose if you select Bogura then it will take its uh, seismic zone and also the seismic value so from here I'll go for Dhaka here is the Dhaka its seismic zone 2 and the value is 0 0.2 and from here occupancy category I'll select for occupancy category 1, 2, uh, 2, 3, 3 and 4 so I'll select 3 if you have occupancy category for simple structure it's on and if you select occupancy category 4 it will select the value automatically so I'll select 3 and I have to read more about just that criteria after that you have to come here and from here click here to click here for drop down list which types of building you are designing you have to select that so first of all moment is uh, bearing wall system with no frame building frame system with bracing or shadow and moment resisting system no shadow moment resisting frame so we are we actually we use moment resisting frame for our building design so we select that moment resisting and uh, from here also we have to select which types of moment resisting frame intermediate steel moment resisting frame ordinary special red force concrete and uh, here I am considering intermediate reinforced concrete frame yeah, and here the damping value you have to provide 5 and uh, it's okay and one thing just you have to select here suppose if, if you select here everything will be changed and as we are working with more interesting frame and it's concrete so CMRF concrete more interesting frame so our work is done and now I have provide my uh, History height above base here first of all GL it's 10 
first floor height 10 10 10 everything I have considered 10 and just it it will work automatically also everything will work automatically no need to touch anything just you have to do that two thing just that two thing two thing uh, history no, name and here history height above base I mean from uh, foundation to top here is the foundation to first floor then first floor to second floor second floor to third floor here like that and uh, if it means 8 floor to 9 floor 10 feet so after that you will find a graph like that you will find a graph like that and uh, if you think that your building are here 15 story building have considered and the height will be according to your building height so it's not mandatory that it should be 150 that's not not that just you have to select your building height according to your height because uh, we know that uh, the uh, top floor height become some low and our base floor uh, height are sometimes we consider six feet eight feet according to a design criteria so I'm considering here every area 10 feet so one five zero this is our total height and uh, from here I have to go F7 F8 and from here I'll go F9 10 11 12 30 and 40 it will be till 40 because uh, and the value will be 10 everywhere it's 10 And you are seeing that with respect to our building height or we have found our that fellow and I have uh, made that excel sheet only for 15 a story and it's easy to increase that easily for that we have to do some change here and uh, if anyone need that they can comment me below and uh, at who is a story till who is a story building they need that excel file they should tell me and I will modify that time to time according to our requirement so it's very easy just uh, the every format are complete just I have to modify that and it's it will be very easy I think so and uh, after that we have found our value for 15 story but if we see in graph here have value for 9 story and uh, it's from the story till a uh, nine story and for that we can go here and after that we have to select from here uh, suppose uh, you can they have two way you can delete that and you can make a new graph otherwise you can click on here right click and from here select data select data and uh, our data range will be from how suppose first of all you have to select all that and delete it and after that you have to select click here and go down here okay then okay here you are seeing that this is your data for 15 story till 15 story this is your data again similarly for that um, uh, this is for keeps 
and this for kilonewton so again select data and from here you can delete that and from here to here you have to select and click ok ok you are seeing that for 15 story it's showing us it's showing us our required data and after that all work we have found that value and uh, if we go up here I have made a another portion for that required value for EDAPS calculation according to court so according to BNBC 2070 we will use user coefficient we will use user coefficient so for that only we need the two value and uh, this value will come automatically from that calculation and according to ASCE 705 and or 7 10 we will use that value we will use that value and also we will found that value automatically we will found that value automatically from our calculation and after that we will compare that result and uh, after comparing that result we will compare with excel file with uh, bnbc 2017 user coefficient option and with asc 705 and 710 and uh, in for video i'll cover that so and uh, after that for trial i'll give you that excel file and also i'll modify that for 100 story for 100 story i'll modify that so thank you thank you very much s12 st connected for next video